on a set of Generation Iron, and I'm taking my new favorite supplement, Game Face. I used to take Alpha Brain, but it's twice as strong, and I'm a big nootropic guy, and I need it when I do films like this. So, like me, I think you should get your Game Face on. What's going on? Welcome to Talking Smack. Now, wait a minute. Okay, I forgot. I thought I forgot my bottle. Listen, you guys, there's a lot of crazy shit going on right now in this world, man. I gotta tell you, I got my clipboard here. I'm hanging it right here for the moment. Fuck. Hold on. Let me get this thing right. All right. Um. Obviously, we are sponsored by. My favorite, it's Game Face, and let me tell you something right now, if you got somebody in Alzheimer's in your family, this shit, whoop, this shit works, this shit kicks your ass, uh, there's, there's some guys telling me it's very strong, that they, you know, it almost like makes them dizzy, you know, it, this is not an energy supplement, it's not a bodybuilding supplement, okay, it's for the mind, it's a smart drug, it helps to rebuild the brain barrier, okay, Listen to me. This shit, Joe Rogan has his on it stuff that he takes the alpha brain. This is half the price and it smokes it. All you have to do is go read the ingredients. Now, a lot of guys are asking me how to take it because it says to take three capsules is a serving, okay? And there's 90 in a bottle, okay? But let me tell you something. I take three capsules uh, a day, sometimes four. But what I do is I take one, one, and one like that. Okay, throughout the day. I do not take three at a time because it makes me fucking chagad. You know what I mean? It'll make me crazy. Uh, I'm very sensitive to stuff that has stimulants. There's no stimulants in there. There is a little bit of caffeine. I guess you can c consider it as stimulant. But the caffeine comes from a natural source and it's a small amount. Okay? Uh, I think there's 100 servings. So that's 30, maybe 30, gr 30 grams of caffeine. 30 milligrams of caffeine per capsule. And, you know... Caffeine is a smart drug, so, but, it, you know, if it was up to me, to be no stimulants in that, but regardless, that is in there, and um, I'm peeling, okay, so if my face looks greasy, you see, like, white peels and shit from the tanning bed, so I'll simmer down, but, um, anyway, that shit, there's people who've been taking Alzheimer's, because there's an Alzheimer, they can't sell this shit on fucking, on uh, Amazon, because it's got fucking vin Vimposatine in it, which is an Alzheimer, they use it for Alzheimer patients, but, they're going to redo that too, and they're going to put a lot more uh, mushroom extract in there, so, but it's right now, it's fucking, it's unbelievable, so if you need, like, if you're losing your brains a little bit, and you need to, like, up your ante with your, you know, smart fucking drug, that's your drug, okay, if you got somebody in your family that's old, they should really see a doctor before they do that, only because I'm worried about the caffeine that's in there, you know, I don't want it to, but other than that, dude, that shit will fucking even help somebody that's got brain problems. Uh, you know, not brain problems, wait a minute, you know, memory, memory, sip it down, it's not a bodybuilding supplement, so sip it out, alright, um, I'm gonna get into a few things today, uh, you know, we're winding up all the shit that's going on with this country with the Trump stuff, so, you know, eventually we're gonna get back to normal, but, there's some things I gotta talk about, okay, and I'm not going to talk about it just yet. First, I'm going to talk about a few other things. Let me see what's on the clipboard here because I got to print all this shit out. Yeah, my girlfriend got the fucking printer working again. Um, I'm going to show you. Ah, somebody here. One of the guys that wrote to me. I forgot his name. He's not on the email here. You, you who watch this and you ask me, how come we never seen pictures of your girlfriend or your girlfriend's never on the camera? Because my girlfriend's very, she's actually very shy, to be honest with you. Like, if you met her in person, um, she won't talk at first. You know what I mean? She'd just be very quiet, which, you know, that's the opposite of me, because I don't shut up. But, uh, so... She's not the kind of person that likes to do this stuff. Like, I've been offered by Steve Blackman when I worked for Muscle Development and all that. They wanted to put cameras in here, do this, like, reality show, Valentino Day in the Life and all this crap. Because, you know, a lot of crazy shit follows me. But she doesn't want any part of that. You know what I mean? So she'd be like, no, not me. Don't put me on the camera. It's kind of like Ozzy Osbourne. What nobody knows is that Ozzy Osbourne had an older daughter. I believe her name was Amy. Okay? You only saw his two his two kids, his son and his daughter there. Okay? The two kids, Jack, his son, and his daughter. I forgot her name. Okay? 
you only saw those two. And you saw that, you know, you saw the wife, you saw what goes on in the house. But what you didn't know was on the other side of the camera was another daughter who said, I don't want to be part of any of this shit. And it's his oldest kid. Okay? So you just could Google that. He's got two daughters. He doesn't just have that one. He has two. And the oldest one didn't want to get involved. My, my girlfriend's like that. Okay? She doesn't want to be involved in anything I do like that. Not because she, she's, very, she's very loyal to me and very committed to me. Okay, and we're very close. We're best friends. You know, that's the way it's got to be. And we've been together like 15 years. Okay, and you know, she's 32 now, and uh, you know, I'm I'm 60. You know, and I've been with her since she's a teenager. So, um, you know, we're very close. We're very very close. You know, we still go out when you listen when you get with your girl. You know, you have to date your wife. Okay, what, me and her, we're going on a date after this. I'm going to the diner again with my friends again after hours. I don't give a shit. I'll be there like 3 in the morning. Okay, and I'm going to be out with my friends tonight. Special place that we go to eat and stuff. It's a restaurant. I'm not going to say where it is because I'm not going to get them in trouble. All right? But, you know, my girlfriend my girlfriend goes and she always comes out with us and she sits and she'll laugh and talk. But, she, you know, if she don't know you, she ain't going to talk. She's certainly not going to talk on here. I can't get it. I'll show you a couple pictures in a second here. I'll put a couple pictures of her. All right. Um, so you guys can see her. She doesn't really like me even doing that. But I'm going to do it. Okay. But you got to trust me. There's a lot of people who know her. Dave Palumbo knows her. You know, Steve Blackman loves her. Steve Blackman's wife. You know, these are all muscular development people. All the people I work with know her. And, you know, they love her. You know, because she's very quiet. You know, she's, you know, she's just the way I like them, bro. Skinny. Latin. You know, she's Mexican. She's Latin. You know, she couldn't speak English till she was like seven years old. And now she speaks perfect English. Um, you know, just the way I like them. You know, with the fucking black hair and shit and the big dark eyes and the big hoop earrings, you know, that's that's me, baby. It's a Latin I do it, I got bitten by a Latin bug many years ago and I got a bad now. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, um, you know, so you people asking me about her, how come she's not on a show? How come I never show her? How come she doesn't want to come on and talk? It's cause of that. She doesn't really want any part of the sport. She doesn't like bodybuilding, even though she knows everything about bodybuilding. Because she sells the magazines that I show. And she knows what, who they all are and everything like that. And a lot of guys do know her because she's been around with them. And stuff. Jerry Ward, you know, Jerry Ward, he's a good friend of mine. You know, a personal friend. And his wife and my girlfriend are really good friends, you know. so. But we, you know, we keep everything on the deal. That's the way she wants it. So, that's what I got to do. And me and her, like I said, we're very close. Even though I make jokes... You know, and she drives me fucking crazy. We're very close. So, and that's what you gotta do. You gotta date your wife, bro. So, if, if you're with your girl, you gotta, you know, you you gotta put your girl first. You gotta put your family first. Because this is bodybuilding shit. <laughs> it's not gonna be forever. And you ain't gonna be big forever. You think you are. Ask Dave Palumbo. You think you are. Okay? I, I'm only five foot six, so I'm not tall at all. Okay? But I, I was, uh, two hundred, uh, I was just shy of 280 pounds. I was in the 270s, okay? And and Dave Palumbo, who's, if you see him now, he's like a, what's he, 185 or something like that? And he's taller than him. He's maybe 5'9", five, 5'9", five, yeah, five, maybe I think he is. He's fucking, he was 325 in the off. See, I used to, I knew him. He was shredded at 325 pounds. You see him now, he's a buck 85. You can't stay big all your whole life. You'll die. You won't. So, you know, and if you think I'd rather die big than fucking, yeah, I'll remember that. When the Grim Reaper's fucking standing above your bed, and you're fucking, you're, you're in kidney failure, or whatever, heart failure, and you're in the and you're in hospital, and your wife, or your girl's sitting there crying, your kids are crying, you you know, your mother's crying, and shit like that. Then let's see how much you, I'd rather die big. So, what happens is we all gotta fucking hone it down, alright? So when you're done with the bodybuilding all that's left is your family. So your family comes first. All right? My girlfriend's my family. You know? So And my daughter lives here too with me. Which, let's get started. And then uh, I'll give you some... I'm going to talk about that in a second. All right. Why go with sugar-filled pre-workouts? Get your game face on and experience true focus all day, every day. This isn't your usual performance pill. 
These nootropic capsules help you play harder, train better, and focus more. Working out at the gym? Boom. Game Face has you covered. Trying to carry your friends in game? You'll do a lot more than carry. With Game Face, you'll make the enemy rage quit. Need to finish that essay that's due in an hour? You'll wish you found Game Face sooner. A 14 hour car ride with the kids? Don't worry. Game Face will keep you alert the entire time. Try Game Face today and experience a whole new meaning of focus. All right, so you saw the Game Face thing one more time. Game Face, bro. If you need a nootropic slash smart drug, it's the best on the market. I'm not just saying it because they, the fucker guys are my friends. They don't, it's not, it doesn't come from a supplement company. They have one product, just this, and they're not bodybuilders. They don't give a shit about bodybuilding. They're fucking, it's, it's all about the brain. And it's all about memory focus and fucking retaining you know, your, your, your brain. Okay, it makes them neurotransmitters fire off, and it does work in Alzheimer patients. So, but you got to see a doctor before you do that shit. So, it's um, dude, this is unbelievable. So, and I'm not saying because they sponsor me. I've been taking this way before they sponsored this. The whole reason why they're sponsoring this show is they got a cold following, you know, with the sales. They got a cold following, so it's not like they even need you to fucking buy it. You understand? I think you should, because it's fucking for everybody needs a smart. I, you know, Dave Plumbo says smart drugs are the future, but. They don't need this. They're, they're fucking multimillionaires. They made it for the. They actually made it for themselves first, for, and their family and people that they love. So it's not you know. Trust me, that shit is the real deal. Now, I got some of you guys. I I can't fucking believe. Listen, I, I don't like to put down guys. Okay, I don't like to put down some of my fucking supporters, but some of you are really stupid, bro. I, I can't, listen, I want some of you MMA guys, there's some of you guys on here, I know that you fight MMA, I know you, I know there's, there's, there's some MMA guys watch this, help me out here, throw, throw your fucking comments down, and, and explain to these guys, because there's a few bodybuilders who are, who are just obsessed with size and power and, and, and actually arguing with me, okay, arguing with me in the, co in, in, in the comment section, telling me, that fucking uh, uh, body power and bodybuilding, you know, is is it means more than 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 a skilled MMA fighter. Like they could fight, you know, like they would beat the MMA fighter. There's no fucking way. Listen to me. And one guy, you know, says he, he does both MMA and bodybuilding. But there's no way because he, he what he says doesn't match what what the reality is. He's saying that's why they have weight classes. It's not why they have weight class, dude. Listen to me. Oh, my God. Okay? They have weight classes because it's, it's better, obviously, to see guys fight guys within their own weight. But that doesn't mean shit. That doesn't mean that a fucking somebody like Conor McGregor couldn't kick a 250-pound guy's ass. Because he could. And so could fucking uh, Street Jesus there, fucking Jorge Masterville. So could Nate Diaz. They've done it. Okay? And you remember this. When the UFC first started, okay, you had Hoist... Gracie fighting guys who outweighed him by 50 fucking pounds or more, and he still beat their asses. Okay? His father, uh, I forgot his name, whatever, Caesar Gray, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck, I forgot his name. His father used to fucking fight guys like 300 fucking pounds. They would bring guys down into, into, into fucking Brazil, bring them down to the Gracies, and they'd have young, skinny fucking kids kicking the shit out of fucking big guys. You're fucking nuts, bro. You cannot compare a skill, a skill with somebody just because they're big and strong. And, and, and one of you fucking momos, and really, it's a really more like a fucko, was trying to say that the Russian guy... That got killed. The Russian powerlifter called out the MMA guy, okay, and he was twice the MMA guy's size. One of you idiots was actually saying, "Oh, he got lucky." You know, the the MM the MMA guy killed him in a street fight, kicked him in the fucking head. Listen, they, they, one of you guys like, "Oh, he got lucky." The MMA guy got lucky. He fucking he kind of like caught him with a lucky kick. My fucking ass! He caught him with a lucky kick. That was a skilled fucking. He knew exactly what he was doing. Watch the fucking video, the surveillance video. Are you fucking serious? Dude, listen to me. Listen, listen. This one could tell you. I know some of you guys, you're probably like, Yo, Valentino, come on, you're right. Listen to me. You cannot compare. If you think that 
a hundred and fucking, there are girls, I'd love to see you, any of you bodybuilder guys, you big fucks, that think like, yeah, I'm jacked, I'm fucking strong, I've been 600, go fight Amanda Nunes. Okay? You won't win. I can guarantee she'd knock you out. I, I give you 10 seconds. That's if you're running away from her. Okay? A girl. Okay? Go fight Misha Tate. Okay? Go. D d to fight one of them girls. Okay? Go fight them. Y y you won't win. You won't win. You're crazy. You cannot compare skill to fucking size. And say it doesn't mean anything. One guy actually, one idiot was saying that, uh, uh, Oh, yeah, but what if they were in close quarters? They were, you know, size and strength matter in close quarters. Are you fucking kidding me? They're in close quarters. That's that's great. That That's that's what a fucking jujitsu is all about. He was saying if they fought in a car. One of the guys actually said if if an MMA guy fought a power lifter in a car, a power lifter would kill him. What? Are you fucking crazy? An MMA guy would put him in a fucking chokehold and kill him. Would fucking put him in a Kimura, wrap him up. You wouldn't even stand a chance. What, what, where's your power in a car? The only ch chance a boxer or a fucking, uh, 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 you know, somebody like that stands is if there's distance. How are you going to throw a punch up close like this? You're crazy. You cannot compare jujitsu, MMA fighters, multi, all that shit. You're not going to compare them with a fucking bodybuilder. It's that different fucking animal, bro. You can't compare them. That's like comparing a fucking lion with a fucking goldfish or an alligator. You know what I mean? You can't compare the two. What, an alligator is fucking tough in the water, okay? But out on land, he's fucking nothing. You, you know, of course, uh, obviously, a fucking lion gets in the water and he's swimming in a fucking alligator attack. You can get him, but come on, bro. You can't compare apples and oranges. You, you're fucking nuts, bro. You're fucking crazy. Let me tell you a story about my daughter. Everybody knows my daughter's an MMA fighter. My daughter does Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. My daughter does Muay Thai. And my daughter used to be a fucking uh, uh, bare knuckle fighter. My daughter used to fight and she fought the Bronx. Okay? She was fighting in, in an arena. And uh, she was fighting this black chick who had big dreadlocks. And this black chick had not lost. Okay? Now, my daughter's compact. She's like 5'1". She's like 135 pounds. But she hits like a fucking monster. Okay? And my daughter was cracking this girl, bang, 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 and, and the girl was fucked up. So the girl panicked and pulled a Mike Tyson on my daughter. And she grabbed my daughter and bit her here on the cheek. Actually, my daughter had to have stitches here on her fucking cheek. She bit my daughter so fucking hard that she almost took the skin right off. All right? Now, then she jumped on top of my daughter. So now my daughter wrapped my, her legs around her. Now, she was on top of my daughter like this. But she had dreadlocks. Bad. Bad. My daughter wrapped her hands, held her by the dreadlocks. Everybody piled in the ring. They're both on the bottom of the pile. And my daughter had her like this, really tight by the dreadlocks, and started headbutt her. Like this. Not only did she break the chick's nose, they had to take the girl out in, a, in an ambulance to the hospital. She couldn't even, they couldn't get, they couldn't even get her up off the, she, she, not on her own. They had to have a stretcher come in and get her. That's what jiu-jitsu does. Do you understand that? That's closed quarter fighting. That's you, You're you not... I don't give a fuck. You're not going to stand a chance. I don't care. Even if you're a boxer, you're not going to get... As soon as a jiu-jitsu guy takes you to the ground, it's over. It's fucking over. I'm telling you that. And you're not going to tell me some bodybuilder power lifter is going to take a job. I'll put my daughter against a lot of you guys that fucking are big weightlifters. Okay? It does... You're not going to... There's girls out there. I've seen girls knock out big guys. With kicks. You have no fucking clue what you're talking about. So you fucking guys arguing with me about that shit. Stop your bullshit. You're fucking, you're a fucko now. You're a fucko. That's like saying, listen, that's like going in and hitting a 90 mile an hour fastball on a pitching machine. The ball comes straight down like this, look. Right? So what do you do? You throw your fucking bat in the zone. I've been there, I've done it. I bet you can't even hit a guy who's a pro baseball player, an MLB guy, who can throw 80 miles an hour and have that fucking ball move like this. You would be standing straight. And if you could hit it, then you'd be making millions of dollars, right, beating fucking, uh, you know, hitting an, an MLB. Or you'd make millions of dollars with your big bodybuilder self fighting one of them big guys at your weight class or even younger or even smaller, okay? 
I don't give a fuck what you tell me. I'd love to see one of you guys fight Jorge Masvidal. I'd like to see you fight fucking Khabib Nagamonov. I want to see one of you guys. The fucking buck 55, buck 60. He'll take any one of you fucking bodybuilders watching this. I don't care how much you bench. I don't give a shit. He'll get you on the ground. Where you won't even be able to. You'll, like a bitch will tapping out like this. That's if you fucking don't choke you first. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Stop comparing sports with other sports. You can't do it, bro. Okay? Maybe you could out-bench fucking Khabib, Khabib man, nigga Mano. Maybe you could out-bench Conor McGregor. Maybe you could out-bench Nate Diaz. But you ain't kicking his fucking ass, I can tell you that now. You cannot compare a fucking skilled professional or skilled person in one sport with a skilled person in another sport. You can't do it. Stop doing that shit. It fucking bothers me. Holy Christ. And by the way, Jimmy the Bull... Jimmy the Bull's a martial artist. You guys don't know that. You see him laughing all the time on uh, RX Muscle. And you think he's a fucking badass martial artist. And so is Mr. G. You guys think Mr. G, you see him with the clown outfits on that he wears? He fucking kicked most of your asses, no problem. Trust me. He's a skilled fighter. They used to fight in a ring, okay? And his brother Bobby is even worse. So trust me on that. Yeah, I should have Dave Plum will talk about that with you guys. Because you guys see, the, 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 the Pelechi is it's just a big, strong, you know, he was a strong man and everything like that. But you have no fucking idea what that guy's war, martial arts, he kicked the ceiling. And these guys all do jujitsu too. You have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Ask them, because they do both. And they'll tell you if a skilled fighter can fucking, is going to take a fucking big bodybuilder. Not even close. All right, enough. I, I, it pisses me off. I'll put a picture of my daughter right here. We will not bend, we will not break, we will not yield. We will never give in, we will never give up, and we will never back down. We will never, ever surrender. Because we are Americans, and our hearts bleed red, white, and blue. Now I'm going to get a little political, right? I'm going to say some shit. So this is going to bother you, and you're going to be a little fucking, you know, if you're going to, it's, that's, it's, that's the way you're going to be, bye, bitch, don't let the door hit you in the ass. Because I've had it right now, with a lot of people talking bullshit and everything like that, okay? I don't give a shit what side of the aisle you're on. If you're American and you see the shit that this fucking Momo, Biden's already trying to pull, sticking people in there that fucking are already fucked up. Let me tell you something, I live, I live, Right down the street from where AOC, Andrew, uh, Ocasio-Cortez, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, in high school, they called her Sandy. She went to the same high school I did. Google it. She went to Yorktown High School. I went to Yorktown High School, okay? She lived right down the street from me, okay? My, my nieces went to high school with her and everything like that. She's, uh, 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 let me tell you, I, not, believe it or not, I bang her. But, uh, until she opens her mouth. But uh, I got to be honest with you. Uh, you know, they're pushing the Green New Deal. And that's one of the things Obama wants to get and, and not Obama, Jesus Christ, or Biden wants to get into. Okay? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you guys a question. If, 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 if there's going to really be global, if global warming's legit, and to an extent is, you know, there is a little bit of global warming, but not with they say, okay, it's called growing pains of the earth. It's been going on for millions of years, and it's going to go on millions of years after us. And there's nothing human beings could do to stop it. it is, of course, it's not good to throw fucking plastics in the ocean and garbage in the ocean. Of course, it's not good, you know, to fucking throw pollute the air. But if you think that that's causing all this bullshit, and you really believe their global warming predictions and shit like that, to fucking, it, it, let me prove it to you. Recently, both Obama... And Joe Biden just bought oceanfront properties. Okay? Oceanfront properties. I'm not sure where. I think it's, it, it, I don't know if it's Florida, North Carolina, but all I know is it's oceanfront properties. So, their prediction is, you know, AOC and all these fucking nut jobs, you know, with the, you know, with the Green Deal and all that shit, they say that the ocean's going to rise. I, I, I don't know how many feet they say, you know what I mean? It, but, they say the ocean's going to rise, which means the shorelines are going to change. So, if if Biden really believed that, and Obama actually really believed that, 
you know, that global warming is going to cause a rise in the ocean levels, then why would they buy houses right there on the ocean? Which, if if really in a couple of years this, all the ocean levels are going to change, they, their houses would be underwater. And what bank would lend them the money knowing that their houses are going to be underwater? Why? Because they know it's not true, that's why. Would you, listen to me, if you went in the future, in a fucking, in a, in a time travel chamber, right? And you saw that, like, uh, I don't know, Miami in five years is going to be underwater. You see this. You, you actually experience it because you jumped in a time travel chamber. And you come back, and you're back to today. Would you go build a house right there on the shoreline in Miami? Would you say, listen, I'm going to build a house, I'm going to lend... Or would you be like, dude, I ain't building a house, that's going to be underwater. <laughs> what bank is going to lend you money? The banks research this shit. Don't you think that a bank would say, I ain't giving them fucking money. We're going to lose millions of dollars giving them fucking money. And these, these, are not, these are not little houses like you and I live in or whatever. These are mansions, bro. You're talking about, you know, $50 million or more just for the fucking house, $100 million. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you, do you really think that they're going to put that kind of money into fucking... Beachfront properties. Guys, your chain is being pulled. They're pulling your chain. Okay? They don't fucking know what the fuck. You know, Bernie Sanders, AOC, they're all fucking nuts. You know what I mean? Ilian Omar, you know? Fucking Rashida Tlaib, uh, Ariana Presley, all those fucking nut jobs. John Ossoff. They're fucking sick in the head, bro. They're sick in the head. Global warming is called growing pains of the earth. There's no such thing as global warming. It's, it's, it's ev evolution of the earth, okay? There was a time where the earth was snowball earth, okay? Which means we were one giant fucking ice ball, okay? Then there was a time where there was no land at all, okay? Then there was Pangea, where the fucking every two, all the lands were connected. And they split apart, you know what I mean? There was a time at Mount Everest was underwater, there's actually seashell fossils, fish fossils, in the stones on Mount Everest. The Sahara Desert was once underwater. You, you, come on, bro. And you think human beings got the fucking, the power to change the earth? You think they're stronger than Mother Nature? Mother Nature could blow a fart, and we're all fucking gone. Do you understand that? One little solar flare from the sun. And we're fucking toast, bro. One little volcano shooting shit up in the middle of the... There'll be no daylight for fucking years. You're done. One little fucking asteroid comes and hits the earth. You're done. So don't get your fucking arrogant ass. You fucking Democrats. You fucking... You wackos that fucking believe that shit. You know? Give me a fucking break. Give me a break. It ain't fucking happening. Okay? It's not happening. And I've said this before. It's like socialism. The whole fucking bullshit. It's not going to happen. Bro, do you realize you think you, you young college guys watching this. Oh, free college. Oh, my God. Then I don't have to pay. I'm not in student debt. Well, guess what? You're somebody's going to pay for your college. Here, it's free. I said this before. I'm going to say it again. Here it is. Here's You got a free college. Now, when you graduate, you're like, look, here's my fucking, I got my, uh, look, here's my diploma, okay? You got your diploma. What are you going to do with your diploma? You're going to go out and get a job, right? So you go out, you get a job, you know what happens? You see a fucking knock on your door. It's the government. You know what they say? Hey, the guy down the street, his daughter, she wants to go to college. So you got to pay. And you're going to go, wait, why the fuck should I pay for her to go to college? Because her father paid for you to go to college. That's socialism, bro. That's socialism. You get it? You get it? You got a sibling? You and your sibling, right? Your mother tells you, listen, go clean the garage. I'll give you $20. You go out, you clean the garage. You come back, your mother says, okay, I'm going to pay you now. She gives 10 to your brother or your sister, whatever you got as a sibling, and gives you 10. You say, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck's that? He or she didn't do anything. I'm not going to clean the garage. Why do, why, why are you giving them $10 and, 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 you know, 
I, and me ten dollars. I'm on my twenty. So that's socialism. Everybody gets paid. Your money becomes their money. So stop your fucking bullshit. I'm sick of that shit. You have no fucking idea. You have no idea. Biden gets in. I know he was voted in. Uh, dude, that shit was a fraud. There's so much fucking proof of that shit. It's not even funny. Of course, you're, you're, you know, the news ain't going to report that. But regardless, if Biden gets in, I guarantee you four years from now, you'll be like, please, 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 God, please, get him out of there, please. Well, he won't even last four years. You'll be like, get Harris out of there, get Harris out of there. Beware of what you wish for. I want to, I just talked about something. I'm going to touch on something right now. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. All right? We got Black Lives Matter, right? You got, uh, first of all, they're a Marxist group. They're a, they're a terrorist group just masking as anti-terrorism. Well, wait a minute. They're a racist group acting as anti-racist, disguised as anti-racism. They don't give two shits about black people. Let me ask you a question. Recently, John Cena, Ellen DeGeneres, Lady Gaga, all donated millions of dollars. John Cena donated a million dollars to Black Lives Matter. Since George Floyd died, Black Lives Matter's made billions. There's been billions donated to them. Where's the money? Where did it go? Where did that money go? Who's got that fuck? Where's that billions of dollars? Is it, did it help the fucking people in the ghetto? If you're black, did it help your family? Did you get any money from Black Lives Matter? Is it making, are they paying any of your bills? Are you still living in the ghetto? Are people still shooting each other in Chicago and shit? Or in New York where I live, this fucking, it's a fucking okay corral here, bro. It's the okay corral here, man. Where's all that money? Who, 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 what's so Black Lives Matter? What are they doing with that money? Did they make black people's lives better? Are they stopping the murders? Black people killing each other? Are they helping black housing? Are they feeding the homeless? Forget, even if fuck the white people homeless. Are they feeding the black homeless people? There's a lot of them here in New York. Go to New York City. A lot of them where I live. Are they feeding them? Nah, they're not feeding them. Are they, are they taking care of anybody? Are they taking care of black people? Are they, are they helping build schools or, or new homes for black people? Are they? Where? Where are they? Show me. Put it down here if you, if you know where, they've, where they're building schools and homes with that money. They're, they're not. You know where that money went? That money goes to the Democratic Party. Google it. Follow the trap. Follow the trail. When you donate, it tells you where you're donating to. Follow where that goes to. It goes to the fucking goes to the Democrats. Because they have a Marxist. They're a Marxist group. They don't give two shits about you if you're black. They don't get two. They don't give two shits. Two shits. They don't give two shits. You you people don't understand, man. The Democrats are the party of the of the KKK. Google Tom Metzger. Do you know who he is? He was the leader of the skinheads. Google him. Go to his, go to his uh, uh, Wikipedia page. He used to run for office and lose a lot. But go Google and read the list of all the offices that he ran for and everything. Always as a Democrat. One time he tried to change because he figured if I change and call myself a Republican and maybe I'd win, he lost. Google, all Democrat, because the KKK, the skinheads, and all that shit, they're all in it together. They're all in it together. Believe it or not, the KKK is in the same bed with Black Lives Matter. Yes, they are. You know, you fucking idiots don't even realize that. You fucking momos don't see what the fuck's happening. You people have fucking voted for fucking... Against Trump, you know, you voted, you took, it, the love for the country is not greater than the hate for Trump. So you voted, right? You voted for the hate for Trump. You voted against Trump. I hate his guts. I don't care. Yeah, I love America, but I'd rather fuck that motherfucker. Because that's what happened. KKK's in bed with fucking Black Lives Matter. They're all in the same fucking boat. They're all in with, in with the Democrats and they, they supported those leaders and everything. Think about it. Think about it. Why didn't the KKK come in in March and go after the fucking Black Lives Matter when they were fucking ripping out buildings and fucking, you know, you know, uh, peacefully rioting 
Why didn't why didn't why didn't the KKK come after them? Why didn't why didn't Black Lives Matter go down where the KKK is? Why didn't they go right near community where all those white skinheads live? Go go to one of their fucking compounds, right? Why don't Black Lives Matter go to one of those skinhead compounds and go fucking rob them and loot them and fuck them up? Cause they're in it together. They're in it together. That's why. I want to spit. In John Cena's face, you gave a million dollars. You could have gave that money to St. Jude's fucking Children Hospital, who doesn't care what color your skin is, doesn't care what fucking religion you are. They take everybody for zero dollars and help those little kids who have cancer. So if any of you got money you want to throw away, you throw it away St. Jude's. It's the only legit fucking, the only legit charity. Instead of giving a million dollars, you gave a million dollars to a Marxist group. Okay, that doesn't give two shits about him anyway. They'll loot his house and stand outside his house with their little Antifa fucking little bitches, you know. Yeah, anybody, when there's fucking 20 guys, all 20 skinny fucking 130 pound fucking college kids wearing black, black hoods and fucking carrying fucking frozen water bottles and bricks, of course you can fuck. One on one, they run like a bitch. And don't give me that, oh, well, Black Lives Matter went in with, with the Proud Boys. The Proud Boys are not the KKK. They're not fucking, the Proud Boys are just patriot guys. They're not, they're not white racists. There's, there's black proud, proud Boys. There's fucking Spanish Proud Boys. One of the leaders of the Proud Boys in one of those communities is Hispanic. Is that, stop that. That's a totally different entity. That's a, they're all about uh, uh, more like pro-Republican, pro-right, Okay. That has nothing to do. They're not the fucking skinheads. They're not the KKK. Go after the fucking skinheads and the KKK. Because you don't have the fucking, not only do you not have the balls, but you know you're all in it together. You're in the same bed with them. Do you ever notice that? Do you ever notice that? Do you ever notice that fucking... All the people that talk the biggest bullshit. You know who a skinhead? When a skinhead, when, when none of his boys are around, he goes gets a whore. You know what he fucks? A black chick. A black whore. When a black fucking, when, when Al Sharpton fuck around on his wife and shit like that. And Malcolm X and all, uh, uh, not Malcolm X, the other one. Uh, oh God, Louis Farrakhan. Who, first of all, is, he's, he's part white anyway. Okay, they all fucking, they fuck white fucking prostitutes. They fucking have white girlfriends on the side. Fucking Al Sharpton even used to comb his hair like a white dude, make it light and shit like that. They were all fucking you, bro. Remember what I said in the movie Bigger, Stronger, Faster? About Schwarzenegger and all the other politicians. The guy that's got that thumb up like this to the, you know, telling everybody I got your back. He's got the middle finger under the table. He's standing like this. Okay. That's what they're doing to you. And you don't see it. Now, I know a lot of you guys watching this see it. Okay? And I know a lot of you guys are on board with the way I think. Okay? But holy Christ, bro. Some of you guys are so fucking unrealistic, it's not even funny. I'm talking to some of the ones that attack me. And they don't like, you know, they think I'm fucking wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove to me that... Go... Tom Metzger, who's been on TV, go, go watch, he's all over fucking YouTube, there's video, 100 videos of him, he's a fucking, he was the king of the skinheads, he was the boss, the, the babe root of, spinhead, of skinheads, go read all the officers, Democrat, 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 once Republican, because he figured he was going to try to trick, because he wasn't doing so good, then Democrat, 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 because he was a Democrat, a starch Democrat, and Joe Biden was in with them. Okay? Joe Biden, your hero, was in with them. He hung out with Robert Byrd. Now you go, you sit, wait a minute, the internet says that Robert Byrd was not the Grand Poobah. Okay, he wasn't the Grand Poobah because they changed the names. Okay? But he was still the leader. He was the leader of the KKK. He was the, the biggest recruiter they've ever had. He got more people into the KKK than anybody that's ever lived. And that was fucking Joe Biden's mentor. Joe Biden gave a speech at his fucking... If that was Donald Trump, you motherfuckers forget about it. They'd assassinate him with that shit. I'm just going to put a little video here right now. Of your boy. Of, of, of Biden. Using the N-word, okay? And he, he could substitute... He's reading something, okay? 
but he's using, he's quoting somebody else, but he's using the N-word. Instead, he could have said, listen, you know, I quote Joe Matarat said, the N-word, blah, blah, and, and you, you know, like that, and then, blah, blah, blah. but he didn't do that. He used the N-word. He loved using it. And he said it clearly. And if there was ever Donald Trump ever said that. If Donald Trump was reading a book or reading a, reading a, a sentence that somebody said about black people and they called him the N-word. And Donald Trump actually used that N-word. They would crucify him. Crucify him. He'd be considered the worst racist ever. But I'm going to show you Biden saying it. And if any of you guys know, please feel free. Put the video down in it, in it, in it. Put a put a clip here. Put a you know a, a link showing me where Donald Trump says it because it doesn't exist. Donald Trump once had a black girlfriend. You fucking momo, you fuckos. All right, and we'll get into something else in a second here. Dude, listen to me. I'm against diversity. I don't believe in diversity. I believe in pluralism. So if you're gonna quote me. That's, remember that. I don't believe in diversity. I believe in pluralism. And they're not the same thing. I don't believe that anybody should get a job according to their sex, their religion, the color of their skin, okay, this, the, 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 you know, their gender. I don't believe in any of that. It's wrong. When somebody says we need to hire more women, we need more blacks, we need more Hispanics, we need more... You need whoever is the best for the job. And if you're a black man, okay... And you found out you got the job just because you're black, but you aren't as qualified as that guy over there. Wouldn't you feel fucking bad about that? I have no problem with black. My children are half black. So don't even go there. Excuse me, quarter black, okay? Their grandfather's black. And, um, and, the, the, and, they actually, and their grandfather is the grandson of a slave, okay, in Georgia. Okay, so plantation in Georgia. So my children are slave blood in them, so don't, don't even go there. Okay, but what I'm trying to tell you, and my girlfriend's Mexican, or off the fucking, you know, swam across the fucking river Mexican. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying. And she'll tell you the fucking same thing if she was right here. Whoever the best person for the job is should get the job. If a woman's better than a man, God damn it, she should get the job. It, you shouldn't, it shouldn't go by the color of your skin. It shouldn't go by the color of your skin. That's wrong. That's wrong. Now, I know in the past I've said that with, with police officers, uh, I think it's hard for, for white cops who grew up in the suburbs to go down in a ghetto and police black and Hispanic people. That's wrong. In that case, you give the test to anybody who lives in that community. And that should be the police officer. Now, if there's a white person that lived in that community, grew up in that community, they think just like the black and Hispanic people, they know they're from that community. It doesn't matter. But more than likely, that's not going to be the case. So you, you go to that community, you've, you, don't, you fish in a pond where the fish that you're looking for are in that pond. You can't catch a striped bass in a pond. You're going to catch a fucking, you're going to catch a catfish. You want a catfish, you, you know, fish in a pond. You want a striped bass, you're going to fish in a river or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, if you want somebody from that community, you want community leaders and community people, I'm all for them policing. I, I don't think that some white kid from the suburb should be policing black people or, or Hispanic people from the ghetto. I don't believe, I don't believe in that. I believe it's wrong. Because I'm going to be honest with you, if you took somebody from the fucking ghetto, okay, with their mindset, and you put them in a fucking upper snobby white class fucking uh, uh, community, they're going to be like, excuse me, you're pulling me over, I want to speak to your superior, because they, you know, they, that's the way they are. I just don't believe in, I don't believe in diversity. I believe when a company says, we, we, we need to hire more gays, we need to hire more, fi why, what the fuck, I don't care if a guy's gay or not. But he shouldn't get the job because he's gay. A woman shouldn't get the job because she's a woman. A person shouldn't get the job because they color, the skin color. They should get the job because they're the best person for the job. That's pluralism for everybody. I believe in everybody. Roy Innes, a great black leader. I, I, I agree with everything that fucking guy said from, from the 1980s. Pluralism. I believe in everybody should have a, a legit chance. But when you just pick and choose people because of their skin color, just like there's a transgender. Now listen, I got transgender, gay, lesbian, everybody in my family. So I got none of, and I have plenty of transgender friends. Dave Plummel's always making jokes about that, okay? Listen to me. 
but there's a transgender that just made it in, in the government here. I forgot where, where she was fucking, whatever. I don't know, it was North Carolina, South Carolina, one of them fucking places. She got some, like, Congress, whatever. And Biden wants to put her in and, and, and run one of the, I don't know, the Department of Education. One of those departments he wants, he wants her to run. What, what, she's, first of all, this person has never even fucking governed or fucking been in politics the first time. This, and I believe she was elected because she's a transgender and we need to, you know, diversity. So, you know, they got her in. Now, she has no experience. And you and that's okay. She can learn on the job as if she's a congresswoman or whatever the fuck, a uh, legislature, you know, that's okay. You gotta learn. You gotta be, everybody's gotta start something. But you don't make that person like high up in the cabinet, you know what I mean, who has no experience, bro. Just because she's transgender, it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay? I'm not against transgenders, so please don't start with that shit. You know? I do believe there's people out there that are legitimately that way. I don't believe there's somebody... You know, I like, I actually like Matt Crook. I don't know him, but I mean, I, as a pilot, I like the guy, but I don't, I believe all that shit is, 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 you know, Bruce Jenner. I grew up fucking idolizing Bruce Jenner. He was a phenomenal athlete, boxed with Muhammad Ali, did exhibition box, could have played pro football. And at fucking 68, 69 years old, he decides, you know, I think I'm a woman. You know, I felt that way a long time ago. Then why didn't you do it fucking 30 years ago? You had the money. You've had the money fucking. You know, 30 years ago, why didn't you do it when you were a teenager? You've had the money for, for forever. When you won that fucking gold medal, you were a millionaire already. Why didn't you do it then? You were still young. Because to me, it's a fetish. It's a cross-dressing fetish going too far. And I don't believe, because you have that fetish, you got to shove that up my ass. And that we have to fucking diversity, you know, we got to hire people because of that. If you could do the job, and you want to wear a dress to work... I don't give a shit, then you got the job. But I'm not going to give you the job because you want to wear a dress to work. The beach. And let me take some. I want to put a video up in a second. Most transgenders today, when you see these transgender children, that's a different animal, bro. Okay? Well, you're five, six years old, bro. My, when I was five years old, I didn't know that my sister... If you would have said to me, what's the difference between you and your sister? You and a, a boy and a girl? I'd say, well... Boys have long hair, uh, girls have long hair, and boys have short hair. I didn't fucking know. You know what I mean? I didn't know. My father and mother didn't bathe us together. You know, we lived in this time where my father was like, no, you know, boys go here, girls go there. You know, you know, it wasn't like that, okay? So, no five-year-old knows about their sexuality or Nobody fucking knows that shit. You're not sexual. If I even that little kid, I am jazz, they showed that little kid when she was... 11 months old. She couldn't even walk. The father's holding her arms up like this. And, they, you know, you walk in the baby. They walk in the head like this. And she was already dressed like a girl. At 11 months. You don't know what a girl is and what a girl... Get the fuck out of here. What, because you played with a doll? That don't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? I used to fucking... My, daughter, my sister had Barbie dolls. I would put them up with my fucking... My G.I. Joes and shit, you know? They'd be banging each other and shit. You know, they sit in the same car. I, I used to actually make G.I. Joe cut, kick her ass and shit, blow her up. It doesn't, that doesn't mean shit, bro. That don't mean nothing. Listen to me. When it comes to transgender children, you got to say this. Because this is fucking, this is a big thing right now. I'm going to put a video here a second. Just to show you how sick parents are. Okay? This is, remember this. Transgender ki children are like vegan cats. Somebody made them that way because it's not that way in nature. You get it? Transgender children are like a vegan house cat. Somebody made them that way. You understand what I'm trying to say? Cats are carnivores. All cats are carnivores. If you have a, tr if you have a cat that's a vegan cat, it's because some fucko feels that meat's bad and taught that cat, fed that cat nothing but fucking vegetables and shit. And believe it or not, it's not right for that cat. So inside that cat's not healthy. So th th then don't none of you give me no fucking bullshit on that. A cat is a carnivore. It's the ultimate carnivore. Okay, especially big cats. They don't sit around and imagine a giant lion sitting there eating grass and fucking berries and roots and shit. The fucking female lions that fuck them up. They'd be like, what a fucking pussy is. They'd fuck them up. Okay? Children aren't born that way. Little kids don't know sexuality. 
that's because some mother or some father or a combination of the two we always wanted a daughter we got two two boys and in this video I'm going to show you it's actually there's a boy an older boy who's sitting there and then the mother takes the youngest boy in her arms and takes her middle boy up with her and makes him tell everybody he's not a boy he's a girl and you, he doesn't want to do it you can see it it's sick it's sick okay and listen I'm not anti-transgender. I'm pro-transgender. If that's what you want to do, I don't give a shit. If Bruce Jenner wants to do that, if Matt Crook wants to do that, I, listen, I, my feeling is that's cross-dressing going too far, especially when you're there. It's different when they're teenagers and after they start getting to puberty and they, they, you know, they, they go, you know, when they could make up their own mind on things or whatever the fuck, I don't give a shit. That's your business. It's not me, okay? That's your business. But I don't need society and Joe Biden shoving that up my ass and making one NM gonna help run this country and that's exactly what he's doing fuck diversity I don't believe in diversity pluralism all right good morning today we choose to recognize honor love and celebrate anyone here who would claim their identity publicly as lesbian gay bisexual transgender queer or questioning intersex, pansexual, asexual, or any category that I've left out. <laughs> this is Phoenix. I'm all on my side. You're a little shy. Do you want to tell everyone if you're a boy or a girl? I just want to tell them that I'm a girl. Okay, you can tell them that. <laughs> okay. Phoenix would like you to know that she's a girl and she prefers she and her pronouns. May you be well, safe, and whole. We honor you exactly as you are. I'm in New York inside a diner. Even though you're not supposed to be, I want my friends, but I'm not going to show them, okay? We're after hours in a diner. Shh. Don't tell the governor, because then I get in trouble. But I'm going to take my game face right now, because i got to keep my memory sharp so I can fuck, fuck over all you. Look, ready? Watch. Here we go. If I can get it out. Right here, look. Eh? Put your game face on. Stop fucking around. And don't let anybody stop you from going out and eating with your boys. And I got my girl here driving me nuts. All right. Game face right here, baby. You got somebody with Alzheimer's, you're forgetting shit right here. It smokes alpha brain. And it's better priced. I'm going to wrap this shit up because I'm ranting a little bit too long here. You know, again, we're going to be doing more bodybuilding stuff, but this is talking smack. Okay, this is about life and it affects you. And there's a lot of guys I want to talk about bodybuilding. Hey, dude, listen, there's a gazillion guys talking about bodybuilding on here. And I do talk about bodybuilding. Watch my old school training shit. And I'm going to be doing a whole revamping of my my YouTube site. So we're going to get into that. I'll tell stories and all that shit. Okay, but right now I'm talking smack. Joe Pietaro loves it when I do this. And there's a lot of guys who love it when I do this. Okay? So we're going to, you know, this is politics is going to affect your fucking life. Okay? What I just said about the transgenders, what I just showed you, that's going to affect your life. You may say, how's it going to affect my life? Because that's what they're going to push, start, push, they're pushing at now in school. Every school's got to, go talk to your kids. Or somebody you know that's got kids. There's a tranny in that school, even in elementary schools. There's kids that are being tra uh, transgender. There's girls right now. They were saying, an expert was saying, back in the fucking 90s and early 2000s, you know, teenage girls who had fucking mental problems were, were cutting themselves. Now they're transgendering themselves. There's a mass thing about that. Which are young fucking teenage girls, young, uh, who, uh, who have a, you know, socially inept and all that shit. Now they're turning and transgendering themselves. It's a fucking nut job. And that's, they're pushing that on us. They're pushing that on us. And by making some, somebody like that, you're going to start sticking that shit in your cabinet and start shoving that up my fucking ass. It's not right. But everything else you're shoving, that fucking global warming shit, all this Black Lives Matter fucking phony bullshit. It's all this, it's all bullshit. Just like reimagining the police. We want to reimagine police. You, what, 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 how do you reimagine police? Maybe if you funded them more, you could weed out the few bad cops. Okay? Maybe if you 
train them uh, more, get more cops on the street, and have have a little bit more, you know, educate them a little bit more instead of six months in a police academy, make them go to a year or so, whatever. But I'm pro-cop, I'm not anti-cop, I'm 100% pro-cop. But I actually believe more funding police, more police officers on the street, okay? Gabish, more police officers. If you, have, if you don't do anything, you have nothing to worry about with that. More police officers. You can't... Camilla Harris is actually toying with the idea. This, this bitch gets in a presidency. We're fucked. And it looks like that might happen. Uh, it, she's toying with the idea of taking guns away from the cops. Now you won't have cops killing people. Yeah, and you know what you're going to have? Everybody's going to quit their fucking job. Who in their right mind is going to want to be a cop? Especially where I live, over here in New York. Who's going to want to be a fucking cop here? With a fucking billy club and maybe a taser. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this, England? With the bobbies and shit? You fucking crazy? Imagine you being a Chicago cop? Or a Detroit cop? Tell me, well, listen, we gotta take away your guns. Get the fuck out of here. I'm for cops. Dude, listen, when I got locked up, it was my fault. Alright? It's my fault. I was locked up by Janine Pirro, Judge Janine of Fox News. That's who locked me up. That's who arrested me. And now I support her 100%. She knows, so I talk with her. She was in the courtroom, fucking trying to bury me. Okay? But it's my fault. When I was in jail, dude, I was the only guy sitting there going, everybody else is bitching, yo, dude, my, my boy ratted on me when I get out, that motherfucker, and I'm going, I'm going, so it's your, wait a minute, it's such your boy's fault, right, because he ratted, right? Everybody gets ratted on, I got ratted on. So it's your boy's fault, right? But it's not your fault, because you weren't doing anything wrong, he just ratted on you, right? If you weren't doing anything wrong, then you wouldn't be fucking sitting in fucking jail, you wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to rat on you, there'd be nothing to rat on. I didn't blame the rat. I didn't blame the rat. Because what they do is they grab the rat, they're going to put him in jail. So what's he going to do? He's going to squeal, right? I don't blame the rat. I blame myself. That's, sorry. I was the only guy in jail. It's like, I'm an idiot. I'm a, dude, I'm a fucking fucko. I'm a momo. I was the only guy. I was selling the babanya. I knew what I was doing. I got cocky too, bro. I was so cocky it wasn't even funny. I was crazy back then, bro. Oh, you want to hear stories, we'll get to that. You, some of you already know some of the stories. But, bro, I would have shot a guy in the head. I didn't give two shits. I did, in my mind, I was justified. Okay? It took me to hit rock bottom. So I realized, holy shit, what the fuck did I do? I'm not in here because somebody ratted. Yeah, they ratted. Whatever. I'm in here because I gave them the cheese to rat. I fed them the cheese so they could rat on me. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. What else? And guys are asking me about the flu shot. Would you take the flu shot? Well, there is... Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Take the vaccine. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I would take it. I don't know. It depends. You got to remember, I'm older. I got fucking cancer. You know, I'm 60 years old. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I throw cancer. I'm, I'm recovering. Um, you know, I'm diabetic. I'm diabetic. Uh, you got to remember something, though. I keep getting texts for my fucking benefits, my medical benefits. Tell me, get your flu shot. Make sure you get your flu shot. Where are you going to go to get your flu shot? Dude, I've never taken a flu shot. And all my friends that take the flu shot get the fucking flu. And why take the flu shot? There's no more flu. Right? The flu's gone. We cured the flu. Because anybody that's got the flu right now is, uh, oh, they're diagnosed as corona so we can get those numbers up. There's no more flu. There's only corona. My girlfriend's father had corona. Well, he used to have corona. Now he has Modelo. <laughs> he get it, corona. Now Modelo. All right, give me a break. I got to pee. And there's no pee book in here. Um, listen. The whole fucking vaccination shit. I don't know. I don't know. You know, we got to see. Trump comes out with it. Trump's supposed to be going to take it and shit like that. If you're going to take it, I'm going to take it. You know what I mean? I trust Trump. I don't trust anybody else, though. You know, I know the whole government, you know, they're going to fucking follow you wherever you go, and blah, 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 blah. Listen to me. I know. I, I, did, I think I might have told you this last time, but there was a woman who was walking a dog. She just came over to fucking Corona. I think she, you know, she had it, and I think just be shy of 14 days, it was gone. So she went out and walked her dog, and all of a sudden she got a fucking message on her phone. Get back to your house. You know, it hasn't been 14 days yet from her fucking medical provider. 
So they're fucking tracking you. Okay? So that's it. There's no more flu. There's only corona. Okay? Well, I, you know, again, I don't know about the vaccine. We'll see. A lot of you people are too scared. I know the microchip, and they're going to follow you around, and then the fucking spaceship's going to... Whatever. You know what I mean? If Trump takes it and Trump tells me it's okay, I trust him. I'm going to do it. So, there you go. All right? Listen, guys. This is all coming to an end. All right? Soon we're going to have things... I still have on my front lawn, I still have Trump Pence sign out. I'm not taking it down until whatever the result that's going to really happen is. Do I think that Trump's going to get it? I think that they're going to prove that there's been fraud. We've already seen that. This, the videos, I've, I've seen a million videos, but, you know, the one that they just show all over the fucking news. Of course, you know, Fox own Newsmax and those places show it. They're not going to show it on the other news because they, they don't want Trump to win. But, you know, you see the people where they throw everybody out of the fucking room and then they come and they grab under their fucking, and they grab in like a couple hundred thousand, six hundred thousand or whatever fucking votes they came up with and how they changed it. Listen, I, I'm 100%. I know that they fucking, the Trump won. I do. I know that shit for a fact, okay? But this is what I think. I think that, like, think of this. O.J. Simpson, right? If O.J. Simpson came out right now, had a news conference and said, I just want to tell everybody, I cut that bitch's fucking throat. My ex-wife, I took that bitch by the back of her fucking head and I cut her fucking throat off. And then when her boyfriend came, that guy Ron, whatever his name was, when he came, I went and I cut his fucking throat too. And you know what? I loved it. How you feel about that? They can't fucking retry him. He'd still be free. They can't recharge him on that. Okay? You say, what does that get to do with Trump? I believe that what's going to wind up happening, because these fucking judges are all Democrats, bro. I believe that what's going to wind up happening, say, yeah, you know what, there was fraud. We don't know how widespread it is. We do know, yes, you know, you probably did win. But, we're going to have to give the, we're going to have to give the, 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 the nod to fucking Biden, because, we've already started the transition and we've already gone this and we're not going to go back on it. You know what I mean? There's nothing we could do. You know, I, I think it's going to be something like that because it's already proven that he won. But I just don't see them fucking turning that shit over. I, 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 it, you know, it just, I don't know. We have to win in Georgia. That's, you know, otherwise it's, you know, you're talking about Puerto Rico fucking and, and, uh, and, and you know, Washington, D.C. is going to become states. They're going to do, they're going to pack the court. They're going to do a lot of shit. If they get to fuck his Senate, it's going to be a lot of shit. Your life's going to change. So remember, that's why I'm doing this fucking video. It's because your life could change. I know you want to talk about big muscles and shit. And, oh, yeah, who's going to win? You know, can Big Ramy win the Olympia or whatever? Dude, that ain't going to have, there will be no Olympia. There will be none of this shit if they fucking get their way. Your life will change. That's what I'm telling you. Okay? That's why we're doing this video. Because there's more to life than bodybuilding. This is crucial for our country and for your way of living. Alright? Your way of living is in jeopardy. Some of you are too stupid to realize that. You think, oh no, I'm a Biden fan. I mean, Joe Biden, I don't like Trump. What do you like Trump? He's a racist. Well, what do you say that's racist? He called Mexicans rapists. No, he did not. He said that some the, the, the cartels are sending bad guys over the border with drugs, and that some of them are raping the girls, which is fucking true. Because my whole fucking girl girlfriend's family there, they've they've all gone through it. They didn't say every Mexican's a rapist. They never said that shit. As a matter of fact, the president of Mexico still to this day will not congratulate Joe Biden. As we're filming this, still said no way. I'm not congratulating nobody because he likes Trump. Google it. All right. Listen. Be good to your girls. Be good to your significant other. Be good to your wife. Treat your kids like gold, bro. Pay your child support. And stop banging your head over the wall over things you can't change. All right? Stick with me on this. We got a lot of good stuff to go. Go to my channel. I got, uh, I'm got. i going to start to get the mojo going. You know what I mean? All right. We're going to do some good stuff here. You need your brain boosted right here. There's no better supplement than this. And it's not from some big supplement company. They're not going to come out with this and that and this. And this is their own fucking thing right here. All right?
You don't want it, don't get it. I don't give two shits. There's no promo code for Valentino. There's none of that shit. All right. Pray to God, because bad shit's coming if, if, if things don't change. Well, if things do change, bad shit's coming. You know what I'm talking about. You're a bunch of fucking momos. I love you guys, all right? Stop fucking around. All right.